Hello, my name is Chad Lampton. I work in the Cartridge Engineering Group here at Sun Hydraulics. Today I'll be giving a brief overview of deadband and how to tune it out using Sun's embedded amplifier. Ensure that the embedded amplifier is powered on. Then turn on the infrared key reader and handheld programmer. Scroll down to the minimum input parameter. Notice we're in mode 1, which is 0 to 10 volts command, with the enable not connected. Our minimum input is 0 volts, and you can see we're currently outputting 0 volts from our command source. Our maximum input is 10 volts, which would be the case if we increase the command all the way to 10 volts from our command source. Our minimum output is 5 milliamps, so at 0 volts input we're outputting a minimum current of 5 milliamps. Our maximum output is 590 milliamps. That will be the current that's being output from the amplifier at 10 volts input command. Next we'll sweep the input from 0 to 10 volts to show the valve position changing proportionally. One thing you may notice here is that when I started giving it an input command, there was no valve movement for a given amount of input. This is called deadband. So if I very slowly increase the command voltage, you'll see the output current increasing but no valve position change. As you keep ramping up the input to have more output, there will be a certain point where the valve will begin to move. What you will see is it took about 70 milliamps to make the valve move. To remove this minimum input dead man, we can capture the value and use it as the new minimum. To do this, hit the green unlock button to capture, and then hit it a second time to lock the value in. It will appear in the right hand side of the display in parentheses. Or you can hit the unlock button once and use the up and down arrows to adjust the values and then hit the lock button to save it. Now we have the greatest input control resolution. The dead band can also be tuned out on the high side of the input. What you can do then is scroll down to the maximum output parameter. You'll notice as we ramp up the input, we'll get to a point where some amount of current will fully stroke the valve. In this case, you'll see that it only took about 455 milliamps to fully stroke the valve open. The remaining output current from 455 to 590 milliamps is wasted. Capture that value by hitting the green unlock button, and hit it again to lock it in. And now you have full control resolution so that you can go all the way to 10 volts input to get full stroke of the valve. Now you have complete proportional control of the valve in relation to your 0 to 10 volt input. We have now successfully tuned out the dead band. Thank you for watching this short video. Be sure to watch our other instructional videos featuring Sun Hydraulics products. And as always, please visit us on the web at sunhydraulics.com.